Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to kind of show you how to use um, plastic gauge. Plastic gauge is something that you use to check clearances between a bearing and some rotating surface. So basically, plastic gauge, it comes in different colors. This is the, the zero to uh, three thousandths inch, or uh, one to three thousandths inch. And so basically, it's like a little thread, and it's plastic, obviously. So what you do is you take a little piece of it, probably like an inch wide, and you place it down right where that is. See, you can see where, I've already done this one, but you can see where the tail of it was hanging off right here. Then you take your bearing and you put it into your cap, just like this, and you can see there's it's already been smashed, but you get the idea. So you lay the thread down in there, then you take the cap and you put the cap on the way it's supposed to be on, and you tighten it down to spec. And basically what'll happen is that that tiny thread of plastic will get smashed down like that and it gets smashed flat and then you take the gauge that's on the outside here and you compare the width see like the width of that probably matches it's probably it's a little wider than the three thousandths so it's probably about what two thousandths it looks almost perfect right there so that's how you use it and you can tell in your service manual or your builder's book or whatever it'll have the appropriate clearance of what uh, of what you need and so on this on this boat motor it was uh, one and a half thousandths to two and a half thousandths and we're right at two so that's perfect this was recently all machined they did a great job and so I'm just kind of showing this is just a double check to make sure everything is right so then uh, you go and you clean the plastic gauge out of the bearings you can use like some brake clean and it just kind of melts it right out of there and gets it all clean and ready for finish install so um, it's a really quick deal to do and then you obviously don't want to spin it you know when you put the cap on you don't want to be spinning the crank around obviously because the bearings are dry I don't have any lube or anything on it right now I just set the crank down in there put the bearings on there on both sides there's bearings on both sides tighten it down to spec and try it out. So that's how you use a uh, plastic gauge and there's uh, three different sizes of it.